The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Coming up on the next edition of Muddy River Gems, sponsored by Dot Foods. So actually, Jim was the first time an African American, a slave, had been made into a real human being in fiction. Absolutely. I guess. And that also captured your attention. Absolutely, and Samuel Clemens did that. Mm -hmm. One of your relatives is also was a former slave. All of my ancestors were enslaved. Mm -hmm. I'm a fifth generation Missourian, and uh, my great great grandfather was enslaved here, and my husband's great great grandfather was enslaved here. And again, that's William Henry Dash. Okay, that's your that's your husband's great. -grandfather. My husband's great great grandfather. Oh, okay. gotcha. He was born 1837. Uh -huh. He didn't die though until 1939. Wow. And so that's he, over a hundred. Yes, 104. Wow. Okay. That's on the next Muddy River Gems, sponsored by Dot Food. Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad, and sitting down with me now is Megan Duncan. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. And for those of you who haven't, uh, you know, met Megan or seen us chat before, she uh, she covers the Hannibal area for Muddy River News and does it quite well. Well, thank you. I You're love very doing welcome. it. Of course. So, um, so. I got to mention before we get rolling, so she also makes fantastic uh, Facebook posts about what's going on in her life as a mother, uh, as a friend, as a wife. And the one I saw this morning about your son just about broke me down into tears. Oh. It was so sweet oh. and so real. And I'm sure that a lot of mothers, especially now through like, um, you know, a lot of kids are graduating and going yeah. through like... Um, life-changing moments and a lot of parents not just mothers are are facing this oh my gosh what now yeah you know my little yeah. one's going off yep. even to you know even getting their driver's license or getting a first job or graduating high school or graduating college or whatever the the momentous occasion mm -hmm. is it is so sometimes when you read somebody else's perspective it kind of just smacks you in the face and you're like oh my god <laughs> and then i saw this thing and it was uh, you only have you know like 18 summers and yeah. this many years to do this and it really is like holy crap i know so i just wanted to I say know. thank you for your post oh thank you it, it uh got me all up in my feels but it also <laughs> kind of put things into perspective for yeah, me yeah well thank you yeah. i was feeling that this morning yeah. because connor started my oldest started full-time job yesterday for the summer yeah yeah and so and how old is he 16. okay just yeah. got a truck mm -hmm. and i'm just not i'm not used to that right i'm not used to him running off in the summer yeah you know so now he's like got his own life and it's weird and, and he's too big and too cool and yeah, yeah it's exciting but sad at the same time know. you know so <laughs> I know that's that's the exact uh those are the emotions I got from your post yeah. and that you are so proud yes but you're kind of like and I think the last thing was and then he sped off in a cloud of dust or something like that yeah. it's like what <laughs> how like you know it's just surreal how how quickly things go I and, know it's yeah. so crazy but I wanted to say thank you well, because I enjoy reading everything me. yes that of course makes me feel good <laughs> okay so on enough with the sappy stuff because I, ju I just wanted to mention that uh because it really it meant a lot to me today well, so thanks. um and aside from that there are a lot of things happening in Hannibal as I said you do cover the Hannibal area for yep. Muddy River News and you do it very very well Thank and um in that area there are, of course there are always things happening always always things and especially during the summer uh the yep. events really start to pick up pace and there's just every weekend there's something cool so there is not only do you kind of keep us in the know with all of the um you know goings-ons as far as like political and school board and you know city council and all that stuff but the cool events yeah right which is what we're talking about today that's right okay yeah so give us kind of a just a rundown of what uh what's coming up in Hannibal and surrounding area that we can yeah. put on our calendars sounds good well right now actually starting tomorrow night is music under the stars okay and it's just that like it's just you go downtown um and people just have their um have their chairs that they bring along and right next to the boyhood home and they have this really sweet wooden stage at the end and various local bands play and people just gather together like it's every thursday okay and people just gather together and enjoy this live music and of course you know downtown Hannibal has so many great local restaurants right starts at seven you could go eat and then you know had the music under the stars and just enjoy that or even you know go at seven and yeah you know take some food back or yeah. whatever it's just a really really nice um weekly tradition and yeah. Hannibal so it's definitely uh and everything's right there so everything's so convenient so it's yeah. kind of like just go yeah uh you know 
park a little ways away, walk down, mm -hmm. uh, enjoy your evening. Yeah, yeah it's, that's it's, awesome. It really makes a nice evening. That's cool. And especially yeah. on a Thursday, it's like, what else are you going to do? Right, yeah. exactly. Thursdays are boring. Yeah, they are. Yeah. It's kind of the gateway to the weekend where you're you're ready for the week to be over. Yeah, exactly. But there's not necessarily cool stuff going on yet. So it's perfect. Yeah, I love it. It is. It's, it's perfect. And it's great because then you don't miss it because of all the Friday action. Right, exactly. So it works really well. So what time does it start? 7 p.m. Every Thursday. Every Thursday down by um, the... Um, Mark Boy, Twain, yeah, the, the boyhood, boyhood home. home. Okay, yes, exactly. Okay. All right, which is yeah. on Main Street, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So yeah, I'll be trying to check one of those out for yeah, sure. Yeah, really, uh, really fun. Yeah. So now, mm -hmm. just because I'm, what's the rule on booze? Can you take booze in in public there? I don't know. I believe you can. Uh, I, I Maybe don't, during special events. See, that might be something yeah, we'll have to check right out. Right okay. now, there's actually. I think a little bit of a, they're still trying to figure out like open carry on yeah. the street. Okay. So I'm not we'll keep really us on sure. That. Not I saying that I have out. to have booze, but it might be kind of nice to just have a I glass of wine or something. I think like to have a glass yeah. of wine and listen to, absolutely. So, sure. Yeah. So um, I'll check that out. Yeah. Cool. Bring yeah. Back I'd be some, glad to report Bring back, back some 411. I can now, do that. Now, is there a list of these live acts for Thursday night on Music Under the Stars? Yeah. Okay. So you can um, get on Facebook and you can look for Music Under the Stars. Okay. Um, and, and they have that. You Perfect. can also always go to visit Hannibal, um, which is our tourism page, local tourism page. You can always go there um, and get all the local events Perfect. from there. They have just a calendar that's just full of all the full good stuff. stuff. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Yeah. All right. So Music Under the Stars every Thursday mm -hmm. starting at 7 p.m. Yep. at uh, the Boyhood Home. Yeah. Next. Uh, simil quite similar to Music Under the Stars is Down by the River. Um, that's June 16th. Okay. Now that is a 21 only okay like, 20, 21 and over yeah 21 okay. and over and it's at the y man's pavilion downtown in there that's where the mud volleyball is normally Correct. taking place right yes. okay uh -huh. right. yep and they're having um there'll be a band and um this is they've already had one in may i'm not sure if they're having one in august i'll have to look that up okay. so but june um 16th okay is that and uh, i believe it starts at seven okay. so that's and something you don't want to miss if you're 21 and or older. <laughs> so now is that, is it like a, a whole event? Is it um, just live music throughout the day? What is it? It's just a live music event. Okay. And um, they'll be serving alcohol. Okay. And I believe they'll have food on site. Perfect. So, yep. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. So uh, again, go to the Facebook page or to, um, what was it? Hannibal? Um, it's Hannibal. It's down by the river. Okay. And so what's the website that you go to for like all this information again? Visit Just Hannibal. Visit Hannibal. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That's always the best starting point. Sure. Really. Absolutely. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Next. So this weekend, so it's going to start Friday and it starts at 11 a.m. is um, actually New London Park Days. Which I just learned about. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. So New London Park Days is actually just pretty much all of New London cause, and it's a carnival and live music. And I mean, you know, New London's a small town. Yeah, how big is it? Oh gosh, I don't know. I'm mean, a couple thousand. I would say, yeah. yeah, we just, I mean, we live, you know, outside of there. Right, but right, right. We just moved that direction. So, um, but we've gone to New London Park Days well before we moved that way. Yeah. You don't have to, I know sometimes going into a smaller community can be a little intimidating. It can be. Uh huh. You yeah. don't have to, you don't have, you don't to, have to feel that way. Feel with that this. way. Okay. No, when you go, there's a ton of local vendors that are there from really all over the gotcha. state. Okay. that come every year. I mean, a lot. That And they're in the courthouse parking lot. Right. Behind the courthouse, um, they always have this really great carnival set up. And um, they have beer gardens um, down down the road at the old marketplace. Tons of contests. Like, they have Mr. Legs, where um, Ooh, local la. guys. Yeah. Get to show off their yams. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yes, yes. And um, so it's just it's all kinds of really great food vendors. It's really hard to go by there and not, not eat. Yeah, not yeah, on well, a diet. I mean, why would you? Yeah, you're going to have to steer clear. It's going to be rough. I'm going, just, though. Just but take I'm, your celery and carrots and... <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't even have carrots, can you? Because they're supposed no, to be like high. You can't Dang it. I'm Girl. on keto. Yeah, yeah, she's doing a good job, though. Well, thanks. I commend your dedication. It is. It can be kind of tough. But, yeah. okay, so New London Park Days, mm -hmm. Friday, June 2nd, Saturday, June 3rd. Uh huh. And, and Sunday. And Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Friday, 11 okay. starts at 11. Mm -hmm. um, you can get 
Carnival rides are opening at one o'clock. Okay. Uh, Beer Garden opens at noon on Friday. So there you anybody go. wants to go that way on a Friday. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, armbands for Carnival is six to ten both nights. Okay. Um, so, but of course, the Carnival is open before then yeah. too. There's right. also a petting zoo for free. It's cool. So yeah. yeah, who doesn't love that? Yeah. There's and, a lot to do. Yeah. So, so much just, to do crafts and mm-hmm. vendors and yeah, also a cornhole tournament oh fun that anybody could enter so okay. right. um yeah sign in is at noon and that's on i believe just sunday okay. so sunday um sign ins at noon at noon london i think in the main area okay so now i noticed you have this handy dandy book that gives you like a schedule of events and also yeah. kind of a festival map mm-hmm. is there somewhere people can pick that up or can they go online to view all of this yes they they do have a website okay so and they also have a facebook page okay so look up new london park days you'll be able to find all, all this stuff. information okay yeah they're great about keeping um this is a this is just a really great event yeah so and they I, i've never heard of year. it it's I'm, fun i'm excited to see what yeah. it's about yeah I'm, yeah i know a lot of people locally there that just like that that's their weekend this yeah. will be their whole weekend yeah and that's and it's cool. it's really worth it that's very so cool. yeah yeah and go support community and that, absolutely yeah, there's awesome. so many local vendors that also go to twain on main okay um will do the, yes, the new london park mm-hmm, they'll okay. just stay and then oh nice yeah people that are from around the state they'll stay and then head to new london park very cool too. very so, cool yeah. so uh yeah lots of stuff as always and then um one more thing we did uh touch on actually david adam brought it up so the i ag center what is this again okay so this is an expansion at uh hannibal public schools Mm -hmm. announced and it's it's really cool i'm a big fan of the program that hannibal public schools does which um actually a lot of them they do so many with the hctc and this is an extension with that okay they have a greenhouse what is hctc i'm sorry Um, that's okay it's hannibal career and tech center perfect yes (laughs) um so yes i always forget to clarify that oh you're good i Um, should know they have a lot of programs one of them um is the greenhouse and in their greenhouse they obviously raise plants but they also raise fish and all that kind of stuff okay. yeah like it's really cool they have that kind of this cool. culture i don't know the scientific stuff they told me the scientific stuff the first yeah, time well, but yeah. i can't remember any of it i probably big words yeah, yeah. I, I never got past it in yeah. science for the most that part. was very so. good either. <laughs> My parents awesome. were like proud of me. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we all have our strengths. There's some kind of relationship between raising the fish and keeping the system with the plants watered. Yeah, and ecosystems. That's what they're type doing. Stuff. Yes, yeah. that okay. kind of stuff. There's all a right. fancy word. I don't know it. Yeah. And then, so basically, that has become just such a big hit with students. And so they are expanding into a new building, also on the Hannibal Middle School. Uh, lawn basically okay. but it's for the high school um, cool. yeah so they'll have an extension um, with the greenhouse and they'll be doing more with that they'll also something I thought was really cool that they're going to be doing as well is um, they're going to have like a they do it now but it's going to be expanded um, meat butchering oh okay so they're teaching their kids uh, they're teaching the kids how to butcher yeah and I mean not they come the they come they don't kill them there in other yeah, words right 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 right, right. but yes. but it is a i mean it's it's a good skill to have especially is, if you're you know more rural yes or you know exactly yeah yeah i mean i could never do it i don't think i could if i needed to i mean i could if i if necessity called for it yeah like if you didn't have food and you had I mean, to right now i couldn't because i don't know how but if yeah. i knew how <laughs> i think that's a very important skill it, it, i yeah. know i know and it, it's a I mean, there's places where that's a really good job or a really good opportunity to build a business off sure. of. So, or a homestead or whatever you need to do. Yeah, yeah that's cool. You never I know like what's going to happen these days. Right. You Absolutely. might need to know how to kill some stuff you and might. eat it. Or grow some things. Or grow some things, yeah. Uh, so I can appreciate this program. Uh, yeah. That is very cool. Uh, yeah, I okay. think it's going to be amazing. There's there's other stuff coming in there too. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, they have like welding. They have so many yeah. things that I'm sure that we'll be expanding there. Those Very are the cool. two things I know. All necessary happening. skills. Yeah. Well, way to go, HCTC. Yeah, construction awesome. starts um, actually first of June. So okay right now basically yeah. coming up pretty quick coming that's up that's awesome yeah yeah so that is going to be very exciting for Hannibal students and surrounding because sure. you know they have the surrounding kids community that come, yeah, yeah that's awesome so, yeah well, way to go that's awesome I know I love um it. yeah so again always cool stuff happening uh in yeah. and around Hannibal new London Park days music under the stars did I say that right yeah yeah okay yeah um next anything, 
Anything Next else? Next time we'll talk about Rotary River Fest is okay. coming up. And then we'll be doing lots of previews for all of the 4th of July stuff. Oh, yeah. Because that's not that that's far all away. That's big stuff, and it isn't. Oh, it's uh, going quick already. I know, because yeah. I know. If, I don't want summer to end. Yeah. So talking about stuff in advance is always like, okay. But yeah, but it's good to get people yet. in the know. I know. Yeah. So, yeah. And there's yeah. so much for 4th of yeah. July stuff. So well, we'll there you go. Talking about that. Yeah. So mark your calendar now for the events happening uh, in June, the next couple of weeks. And um, if you need more information, visit, visit Hannibal. Mm -hmm. okay. Visit Hannibal.com. Uh, you can com. see everything there. Even, even the um, incoming just river boats sure. that you want to go and watch dock. Yeah. So there's, that's a great website to refer to. Perfect. So cool. Yeah. And if you don't have your very own Meg, which you do if you're watching, then you can go. There are plenty of other resources, but she's definitely the best. So thank you so oh, much for chatting you. with me thank again. You. Coming up next, I sit down with Joe Collar to talk about the Pike County Fair. Stay tuned. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. A great night's sleep starts at Harvey's Furniture. Check out the large selection of complete bedroom sets. And when it comes to mattresses, we have a full selection from Vemco, Spring Air, and Chatham and Wells. Harvey's Furniture, our home, your home. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite Abbey Tizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carryout is available too. Now with a convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. And welcome back. Joining me now is Mr. Joe Collard. And Joe, you are the president of the Pike, Bo Pike County Fair Board. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Of course. Um, okay. So the Pike County Fair, we were just talking, uh, there are really two fairs in Pike County. And this one in particular is where? This one is in Pleasant Hill. Okay. All right, can you give us a quick background of the Griggsville slash Pleasant Hill? Because I know there are two, and I just don't yep, want to confuse them. So a lot of people them. get confused on yeah. that. So uh, there's the Western Illinois Fair, which is in Griggsville, Illinois, and then ours is the Pike County Fair, which is in Pleasant Hill. Okay, perfect. And we're talking about the Pleasant Hill Pike County Fair. And you have a lot of cool stuff um, every year, but this year you have a couple new things, one not so new, but you're bringing it back, and then one really cool new thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Pike County Fair had gotten away from doing livestock shows for a while. And uh, with this board, the new board that we have, uh, and me as president, we decided that we want to get back to the roots yeah. of a county fair, uh, which includes livestock. So, you know, the point of, of our fair was started to kind of highlight agriculture in our area. And we felt livestock is a huge part of that. Absolutely. So we wanted to bring that back. So we're excited to bring livestock back this year. Uh, we've got uh, four different shows. Okay. We have beef cattle, uh, sheep and goats going to be there cool. we've got uh two jackpot shows um and then we've also got the fair shows going on okay now the livestock show includes like awards and like you know best in show stuff like that yep. right it's yep. always one of my favorite things to do uh i love animals for one but for two you can see all the hard work that these people and a lot of them are kids yes. put into this it's just very very cool so i'm glad you're bringing it back yeah no we're excited about it too i yeah. think you know when i was a kid going to the fair the livestock buildings were always full and yeah. and uh need to go see and, and, and be around that. So we want to make Agreed. sure that was a part of our fair this year. Absolutely, well, nice work. Um, and then something else you have new, and this is big. I just, I mean, before we came out of chat, I was just doing some Googling and you guys have something really cool coming up. Yeah, yeah. so we've got a couple things we're pretty excited about. Okay. Uh, so one would be Friday night. Uh, we were looking for something new to do. You know, what do you what do you bring? What brings a crowd to a county fair? Yeah. Uh, something different, something that hadn't been done a lot. 
Um, so we decided to bring in monster trucks this year. So Boom. we've got full throttle monster trucks coming in um, this year, which we're super excited about. Um, Bigfoot will actually be there. So for older generation like myself, Bigfoot oh, I know big Bigfoot. Deal, right? Heck yeah. yeah, heck yeah. So, so Bigfoot will be there, um, and we're super excited about that. So that'll be our Friday night show. Okay. at the grandstands. Yeah, very cool. That is so cool. Um, okay, so real quick because you mentioned Friday night, so this goes Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Is that actually, right? It starts Tuesday. Tuesday. Actually, back up a little bit. Okay. I guess unofficially, it starts Monday with the jackpot show. Monday, what day? Uh, June fifth. Monday, June fifth. Yep. Okay. And then the actual fair kicks off Tuesday, okay. uh, June 6th. So it runs 6th through the 10th. Um, Good so, to know. I was yeah. selling you short. I was yeah, just calling you. We got, gosh, sorry about that, Joe. <laughs> so 5th um, through the, what'd you say, 10th? 10th. 10th. Okay. Yes. That's a nice stretch. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So everybody has a chance to get out and check some stuff out. And aside from livestock and monster trucks, you have a whole list of we do. Yeah, all kinds so of stuff. We, uh, you know, we wanted to pack the fair full this year. We want to give everybody something to do. Um, so we're, the other thing we're super excited about is we've got, uh, the Dino Roar touring show coming out of Ohio. What is that? Um, it is an informational and entertaining, uh, dinosaur show. Sweet. So they've actually got uh, hand puppet dinosaurs and a, a large dinosaur costume that a person actually gets in. Okay. And, uh, it's an informational show. They talk about dinosaurs, history, everything. Sweet. Um, and, uh. Get, they get the kids they interact with the kids in the crowd very cool and uh, then after the show there'll be a chance for you to touch fossils they'll have fossils and stuff set up that you can touch and and see uh and then uh you may even see some dinosaurs wandering around the midway throughout the week very cool yeah that is that is it's new and different and i yeah. love it that yeah. is so that's such a good idea so they're actually going to be doing uh two of those shows per night okay so six and eight o'clock each night and then on saturday they're going to do three shows for us and that'll be four six and eight o'clock perfect yeah yeah okay that is something i love that i yeah. think that is so cool very cool and then aside from that so of course uh there's always a fair queen yep. right yep so we we're, we're, we kick off our fair every year with that that's our uh our queen contest so that'll be tuesday june 6th um we'll start off with the queen contest at seven o'clock and then uh, we also something else we brought back this year um Horse shows were always a big, big thing. Okay, for yeah. The Pike County Fair. Heck yeah. And we're bringing back uh, horses this year. For, we're going to have a speed show Tuesday night as well. That, I'm assuming that's where they race, or they. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Is. Very cool. I'm, I'm learning about that myself. I, it was I, like, I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to ask and sound stupid, but I'm like, yeah, I'm curious. I'm sure I'm not the only one. No. So okay, cool. Very cool. And then, um, so aside from that, of course, you have great food, rides, uh, vendors. Um, I know. So as far as admission. Um, throughout throughout the week, I'm sure there's a standard price and people can go on and check that out. But you also have an armband night for the kiddos, right? Yeah, well, okay. so what we have is uh, each night, uh, general admission price includes the dinosaur shows, the grandstand attraction, and all rides. Okay. Are included in your general admission price. There you go. Uh, and that does change each night. So it starts out uh, Tuesday night at $10. Okay. Uh, four and under, free every night. Um, and then uh, $10 again on Wednesday. And then it goes up from there. We can't beat that. Yeah. That's really reasonable. Yeah. That includes rides and, and uh, everything. Wow. Okay. We'll be going to the Pike County Fair. So, <laughs> I, I mean, I, and I'm not bashing any other ones, but, you know, a lot of times you get in, you pay for parking, you get in, then you pay for, you know, the food and the rides. And by the end of the night, you're like, whew. Right. Okay. We're not going back there. We're going to yeah. share. But, yeah. No. Yeah. It's, so, we tried to price it, you know. I mean, uh, we get it. Things are, are kind of tough right now, right? Yeah. With inflation and everything. Yeah. And, but we do have some bills to pay. Absolutely. With all this entertainment coming yeah. in. Um, so we try to price it accordingly and uh, just make it to where families can come in and, and have a good time. That's awesome. So um, Pike County Fair, June 6th through the 10th. And if they want to learn more, like schedule of events, um, prices, uh, et cetera, et cetera, where would they go? Sure. So they just jump on our website, which is actually new this year. We're excited about that as well. Something else new? Yeah. yeah you guys are killing it. Stuff this all year. right. Uh, so our, our website is uh, www pikecountyfairillinois.com. Perfect. That's awesome. Well, it sounds like you guys have a lot of new stuff coming up and a full calendar of events and um, all for a very reasonable price. So fun, fun things for everybody yes, and uh, accessible to most. So there you go, right? Yes. Like, perfect. Excellent. Joe, it was so nice to meet you. Thanks Good luck. And uh, you'll probably see me out there. Can't wait. Yeah. All right. On that note, I think that does it for today's Daily Muddy. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more.
Muddy River News. Our home, our news.